Hey class of Click Women, okay, welcome back to my channel. Now, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that came out to support me last weekend at BeautyCon London. I had my first ever meet and greet, and guys, it was such an amazing feeling seeing so many of my supporters in one place. Thank you to everyone that came up to me to say hey and you know just had a conversation. I just loved meeting all of you guys. You guys are amazing people and I love all of you guys so much. I really can't wait to do more of this like in the future in God's name. But yeah, let's get straight into this video. I just wanted to say a big thank you for that. But yeah, so in today's video I recorded this makeup look for you guys which is a full coverage, long wearing makeup look. So if you guys want to know how I achieved it, I'm going to achieve it too. Continue watching. I like to always start off by applying Vaseline onto my lips just so they stay moisturised. And as it is winter, I'm going to apply the Vitamin E Face Mist all over my face just to give me extra moisture. Guys, I finally found a primer that helps with my oily T-zone problem. Now, if you guys watched my How To Get No Flashback video, you know that I couldn't find a primer to help me. But I finally did. The Benefits Professional Primer is literally the best primer I've used ever. I used it throughout the summer no pores no oils came through throughout the winter it's just literally amazing all seasons round now i know it's winter but that's still no excuse not to be glowing so i'm gonna spray my face with this 24k face primer it's now time for one of the most important steps so we've just finished priming our face which is really essential and keeping your makeup in place all day and looking flawless but it's now time for foundation now choosing the right foundation is really important because you always need a perfect base for everything else to look perfect. So I'm choosing the Fenty Beauty foundation as the coverage is buildable to full coverage which is important in this look because we are going for a full coverage look. And also I love the colour and finish of it, it doesn't move, it's basically matte so it keeps the makeup in place all day. Now the way I like to apply foundation when I'm trying to get that airbrushed full coverage flawless look is apply it as a section at a time. So I'll do one half of my face first and then do the other half. I like doing this because it means I don't have to rush, it means I can just actually focus on that section first. So build up the coverage, make sure it's flawless and then do the exact same thing on the other half. And another thing I really love doing when trying to get that full coverage look and also airbrush is you actually use a brush. The reason why I like using a brush is because you don't need a lot of product because whereas a sponge soaks up a lot of product so you would need to use more pumps and more products to get the full coverage look, the brush does not require that much foundation to get the desired full coverage look. So I really like that. I'm now going to go in with my base concealer as I like to call it which is the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Coverage Concealer. Now this concealer has the most coverage ever. It's just so thick and the coverage is just amazing. So I apply that first and then I go on top of that using the LA Girl Pro Concealer underneath my eyes as well and I just apply the LA Girl Pro Concealer on my chin, my upper lip, my nose and my forehead. I'm going to blend all of that out using my Real Techniques Clean, that's very important, you can't use a dirty blender to try and get a flawless result, it always has to be clean and also wet, so a clean and wet, but not too wet, so basically I'll say damp, a clean and damp beauty sponge, I'm going to use that to blend out all of that concealer. Alright guys, so I'm not just going to do this little trick I picked up along the way, which is applying a lighter concealer on top of the concealer you just applied. And I really like using the Urban Decay one because of how weightless and light it feels, so it doesn't feel like you're applying pounds and pounds of makeup onto your face. Now I just like doing this because it makes my under eyes look brighter, like I've got everything in order, like I sleep at 10pm every night, I just look more awake. I'm just now going to go back in with my e.l.f. brush just to make sure everything is blended out perfectly. Thank you. 
I'm now going to reverse contour using the Bobbi Brown concealer as it's closer to my skin tone so it won't look too harsh. I'm just gonna blend out that concealer and what I like doing nowadays is actually reverse contouring and I've just scrapped the whole cream contouring step and I feel as if that's made my makeup stay in place way longer. I don't know, I just don't like the way cream contour used to sit on my face. It never really stayed in place. It's now time to set my face and this is so important because if you don't set your face guys, the makeup will literally slip and slide off your face. Setting your face makes the makeup last for a very long time as long as also using a really good setting spray. A setting spray I recommend is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It's amazing. So using these two together will make sure your makeup lasts as long as it can. I am using the Sasha Buttercup Compact Powder to set my face. I'm also going to then add a bit of the loose powder layer on. But good setting powders to use are Laura Mercier Translucent or the new shade that they have which is Brown Girl and Dark Skin Friendly. Um, using Sasha Buttercup is really good and Black Opal. I've tried all three and I love all of them. But my favourite is Sasha Buttercup. I'm going to go back in with that elf brush and just dust away any excess powder. Alright guys, so I know I look like a pancake right now because I haven't contoured but that's okay. I'm about to use one of the best makeup palettes ever which is It's My Ray Ray's palette that she made with BH Cosmetics. So there are three contour shades in this palette, three highlighting shades and 21 eyeshadow shades. All super pigmented and the palette is super affordable. I'm using her brush number three which is a contour tapered brush and using the shade Mocha which is one out of the three contour shades to bronze up my face and I'm now just going to use an angled brush from Vanity Planet and tap it gently into the darkest shade which is Brownie Bite. Now guys a little goes a long way with this palette. It's so pigmented that all I literally do is just tap it as in one tap into the palette and it picks up enough product to contour my whole face. Alright guys, it's now time to blend, blend, blend. Now if you watch any of my makeup videos, you'll know I spend a lot of time blending out my makeup and that's because that's what makes it have that airbrush flawless finish. I'm now going to go back in with that beauty sponge just to clean up that contour so it's nice and snatched and you know we have popping cheekbones and I'm just going to go back in with that elf brush again just to dust that powder off lightly. I'm now going to contour my nose using any remaining powder on the angled brush and I really love using an angled brush when contouring my nose because it's easier to trace my nose shape with it if that makes sense. I'm just going back in with that e.l.f. ultimate blending brush just to make sure my contour isn't looking too harsh so I'm just blending everything in so everything looks seamless. This is just me blending out my makeup again. Guys, again, blending is the key to flawless makeup. You guys already know what time it is. It's time for my favorite step in makeup, which is highlighting. I'm gonna go back in with that It's My Ray Ray palette and use the shade 
French toast and literally just highlight my whole face. I'm now going to bring back that brush that you guys know I love so much which is the Real Techniques Face Expert brush and use that to blend out my highlighter. I don't really like a harsh highlighter look if that makes sense so I like to blend it out after I've applied it. I'm just going to use any remaining product on that angled brush just to bronze up my face one last time. I'm now going to go back in with that Vitamin E Body Shop Face Mist Spray and just spray that all over my face because I like the way it dissolves makeup into my skin and it makes everything look seamless. I also forgot to put the clip of me using the All Nighter Urban Decay Spray but I do use that too. I'm now going to go back in again with the It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics palette and use the highlighter shade French Toast and Moonlight just to give me more glow because there's no such thing as too much highlight. I'm now going to apply my favourite mascara which is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. It's so bomb. It literally makes my lashes look so long and full. And that's the look done guys, I'm just now going to apply Chantal Lashes in the style Baby Girl and apply lip gloss off camera. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really loved making it for you guys. And if you did give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and also turn on the notification button so that way you're always alert when I upload a new video because YouTube will remind you or try to because sometimes they don't, they be acting up. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!